We will now demonstrate Panorama Necto and the business intelligence capabilities it can give you. We will see an example how different types of users can gain insight, analyze data, and easily collaborate with other users on the data presented. All this using a governed, fully web-based application that recommends to us what best steps to take next. In this scenario, we are a company who markets consumer goods such as computers, cameras, and toys in the United States. We are now at the end of the second quarter of the year and would like to review the results. The results are organized in work boards, such as you see thumbnails of here. These are the next generation of dashboards. They are a place to gather business intelligence information that is dynamic, collaborative, and suggestive. On the left-hand side, I find my personal information. This is where I can see my areas of interest and my friends. Necto uses this information to give me better recommendations, as you will see soon. In Necto's homepage, I can easily continue the work I've done before using the recent work boards. Go to my favorite work boards, which I've bookmarked for later usage. Necto also suggests to me relevant work boards. This is where Necto uses crowdsourcing to recommend to me work boards I may find useful. I can also look at specific trends of work boards. I can also follow recent discussions or subscribe to other users. I can follow those who analyze information relevant to me or producers of interesting work boards. This is the same concept as you see in Twitter, for example. I can also search for work boards. According to the names of the work boards, the content of the work board, or a, dis a text in the discussion. As we've said, this is the end of the quarter, and I like to see what happened this quarter. I'll open up the overview work board. This work board allows upper management to get a clear and concise view of the entire business in a way that is easy for them to understand, and yet it gives them the full business picture. The way it is done in Necto is by using infographics, a clear way to represent data that is highly visual and yet connected tightly to the data. Here on the top left hand side, I can see the budget information. I can see how much we spent this quarter relative to how much we were planning to spend. And in red, I can see where are the issues where we overspent. On the right hand side, we have our, in, our operations information. Here I can see important information such as market share, out of stock information, inventory turnover time, and return material authorizations. I can see how we fared this quarter and compare it to the previous quarter. I can also see sales information. For example, I can see that catalog sales were good this quarter. The green color shows me that we were above our projection. And the gray gauge beyond the market shows me that we also outperformed the previous quarter. I would like to comment on these results so others can learn from them. Necto gives me the tool to do that. In Necto, we can add comments or annotations to the data that is presented. If I want to see comments that other have left me, I'll click on the Show Comments button, and I can see what Dan Davis have added to this work board, and what James was saying about the, what happened with marketing expenditures. If I want to add my own comment on catalog sales, all I have to do is grab the Comment button, place it on top of the element I want to add a comment to, and write, this is very good. 
Now everybody will be able to see the comment that I've added and follow up on it as well. Looking at online sales, I can see that this, this was not a good quarter. We were below projections and below the last quarter. I would like to get more information, so I'll click on the details button. Here I have an infographic that gives me information about the revenue from internet sources. I can see how much money we've made from each internet source of leads. I would like to discuss it with a colleague, so I will start a discussion with him. I'll open up the social ribbon. The social ribbon allows me to interact with other users. I would like to ask Dan what he has to say about the distribution of online sales. So I'll grab his card and place it on top of the online sales element. A new discussion has started that is connected to this online sales element. I will ask Dan. I will also add Yevgeny to this conversation. By this, I'm building an ad hoc team that will allow me to work collaboratively at a group to follow up on this and quickly find what is the cause to make decisions for the next quarter. Looking at store sales, I also see issues. I will look at the details view and see that we have, inf we have issues in sales of cameras this quarter in store sales. I would like to research this further. So I would like to go to a sales analysis workboard that will allow me to further research the issue. I will click on the store sales infographic and use the link to the sales analysis workboard in order to continue my work. This is the sales analysis workboard. It allows those who want to analyze the data further on by themselves or with others to work on the data itself. On the left hand side, we see a sales report. This report allows users to interact with the data itself. Note the bubble up exception. It lets us know that there is an issue in an underlying level that is not shown on this report. It tells us there is an issue with disposable cameras that are just a tiny amount of the full revenue we get from cameras. If we look at the comment, we, saw, we can see that David already explained why, what is the reason for this low level of sales. Below, we can see a map. The map gives us the results of our main markets and divides the results shown according to the different product lines. So we can see that cameras were sold very well in Virginia but not so well in New York. Here we can see that cameras did drop significantly in sales in June. This is important. I would like to understand who can I interact with in order to understand this, this figure. So I'll look at the data itself. I would like Nectu to point out where are the main issues. So I'll click on the One Click Insights. One Click Insight found that the major issue was sales of cameras in June. Over 50% drop in sales between May and June. I would like to find who are the right people to ask about this drop in sales. So I'll click on Find People. Necto gives me the list of salespeople I can interact with on this data cell and how they affected this result. I can see that Mike Feldman had great results this month with selling cameras. On the other hand, Adam had issues. I would like to ask Adam what was the cause for this issue. So I'll start the discussion with Adam. You can see that the discussion is tied directly to the figure that is represented in this cell. And as the data would change, the figure, the figure would remain the same and will allow us to connect directly 
to what I'm seeing right now. I would like others to follow up using this workboard and understand the data better. So I will open the Nectar Notifier. The Nectar Notifier allows me to build notifications that will go out to other users. I will call it Sales Follow-up. I would like this notification to go out on Mondays and on Wednesdays. And I would like to add all the salespeople relevant to this. So I'll add Adam and Effie and Yevgeny. These are the people whom I want to get this message. I'll make sure that they get an, a link to this workboard with every time the notification is being sent. And it will be sent only when the one-click insight finds an issue. So whenever there's an issue, on Wednesday and then on Mondays, they will get this notification with a link to this workboard. But I would like to do further analysis on my own. Nectar already tells me that the biggest issue has been cameras in stores, which is something I found out before. Now I want to research this on my own. I can start looking at the data, slicing and dicing, looking at different levels to find out what were the causes for this issue. But I can let Necto do this analysis for me. What I'll do is I'll click on the issue I want to research and choose cause and effect. Necto will now analyze the data and let me know what are the most significant reasons for this drop in sales. Necto came back to me with the three most significant contributors for this drop in sales. I'd like to focus on the most important parts of this. So I'll raise the threshold and also filter the data. I can see that there is a problem with a specific manufacturer of materials for us. This is very interesting and I would like to follow up on this. I'd like to see if there is any other information in Necto that may point to this. I'll use the Necto Advisor. The Necto Advisor lets me know what other people have been using and what other workboards have similar information. I can see here that Yevgeny have been using a production and process analysis workboard. I'd like to review that. Here's an example of a workboard that includes infographics to allow non-VI experts managers to analyze their business. I can see how my business is affected according to the costs we have in materials, in manufacturing units and deliveries, adding to that the revenue and see where I get my profit. I know that overall I do get a profit, but I'd like to see if, in, if any of the suppliers have given me less profit than the, than the others. So I see that the first supplier, I'm doing fairly well with them. And the second supplier, also okay. But with VSA, with VSA, I seem to be losing a lot of money. I want to see if this has anything to do with the types of products that we're selling. So I look at toys, and I'm seeing that although we're making some revenue with toys, we're losing money with toys. And with computers, we're not selling anything they produce for us. Same as in cameras. So VSA seems to be a supplier that really causes me a loss. I've found the cause for the problems we're having. Although we have a supplier who is producing materials for us, we're not selling them. This is something that I will follow up in order to solve this problem quickly.